been some time. have not been kind to us both, it seems. But perhaps now they will see the truth at last. It is not as it was. The Jedi Council has changed. But perhaps that is for the best. We were wondering when you would arrive. This moment has taken some time to reach us, and I imagine you have many questions. We should have told her the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. Or perhaps you will come for revenge. Now, we will do as we have done. We will wait. There's nothing else we can do. No, the true threat is yet to show itself. It is waiting for something. Us, perhaps, to enter the war. We have seen their soldiers, the remnants of their fleet, but those are symptoms of a disease. It is more bait to attempt to draw us out. The actual battle is being fought through the Force, not with weapons of war. It isn't about the Republic anymore. The attack on Onderon, something was attempting to use the planet itself, to feed on it, to draw on the power there. You prevented it, but it was a stalling measure. The next time will be critical. Jedi gather, if we wage war against these shadows now, then Jedi will die, and we will die for nothing. Whatever this thing is, it must be fought by those strong in the Force. It cannot be fought in any other way. It knows this, and that is why it is killing us. If we die, then it will win, no matter what fleet or weapons are brought against it. The Sith are a threat, it is true, but the threat they present, it is tied to you in some way. The echo we have felt in the worlds we have walked, we have encountered it only once before, when you stood before us at your trial. We believe that somehow you are creating this, or that the Sith have learned this technique from you. She still does not know. She has traveled all this time and never reached her destination. The answer has already been shown to you. Look at who you travel with. that when you act, others follow. Those that travel with you. There's something wrong here. A disturbance in the Force. They follow you without question, without hesitation. Against their instincts, and sometimes against their sense. You draw them to you, and your actions affect them strongly. It is because you are a leader, but that still fails to grasp the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you. It is not an easy thing to explain. Surely you are familiar with force bonds. It is the bond that develops between apprentice and master when one truly understands another. It is developed over time. Such bonds can happen at times of great conflict. If you do it, you make your action. When you suck, we do not. In that, we did not cut the screams. Their lives, you are sensitive. And when that, and the screams, the ones, the silent, to hear the fo it was too much. You cut yourself. You were deafened. At last, you could hear. You were broken. You were made whole. You were blinded. And at last, you saw. When you returned to that emptiness with us. In you. In you. Yeah, you are. It is that you are within you. So he's right. You must have. But what's and that? What of other Jedi for you? You have our What's war? It is what a lot somehow, but it is. You are a threat to living creatures. So you will lead our judgment is a part. Forgive us. Do not be afraid. Enough. Step away from her. What? Step away! Shh. 
You will not I thought die. No, became stronger. Yes. Is this your new master ex? It is as I feared. She is you sought the way to sit up. As you would pass judgment on her, you would the teachings born of the map. Did you not hear its call on Dantooine Frook? On its scarred surface and in the minds of the settlers? And you, Kavar, so close to the call of Daxan, tell me, did you not feel what poured from the moon? What had taken place there? No. You simply did not learn the lesson I sought to teach. That your strength is as meaningless as the strength of my hand. And says Kael, to hide upon Nashada, yet blind yourself to all that happens there. So close to understanding the Force. So close to giving it up. See it? 